Now that you've claimed your profile, you're all ready to log into your account. So go to the, the, the Rotary Win-Win Internet page that you find on our Facebook site. This is the address right here. Of the three links below, we're going to choose Log into your account. The username and password were provided when you claimed your profile. Click Sign In. Up top, there's a number of links. The first one is your numbers. These are all the numbers that you own. And also, how many weeks left you have uh, prepaid. So these two numbers are all prepaid for 47 weeks. If I go up and choose the profile button, profile, it allows me to make changes to my telephone number, address, email address, all those things that would help Rotary contact you. You can even reset your password. However, you have to choose uh, a certain number of characters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special characters, in order to give your password strength an adequate amount. Next, you can take a look at all the transactions that have taken place in your account. In this case, it shows that $2 was taken off each time we played those numbers every time there was a draw. You didn't have to do anything because the system did that for you. If you had money in your account and there was a draw, the system took that $2 off. Well, now, if you want to add funds, let's click the Add Fund button. And you have a choice of how much to add to each number. So there's two numbers here. And the minimum to add to each is $10. But you could add more if you wanted to. So let's say I'm going to choose $20 on this number and $20 on that number, total of $40. Click the Continue button and pay with card. So the way that you pay or put money on your account is with a credit card or a debit card that has that capability. So the name, the street, Ran Manan in Canada. Unfortunately, if you are outside of New Brunswick, you can't add funds. If you are in New Brunswick, even if you're from away, you can still add those funds. So I put in my credit card information. I'm going to grab that quickly and paste it in. And the expiry date. CVC number, which is on the back of your card, and pay. Put the wrong number in here. 2025. There we go. Pay. There we go. And that is complete. It shows a transaction ID when it took place, and the amount of money that was put onto your account. Great. Let's click Continue. Now, the last button is Designate a Winner. Many of you have asked us to provide a way that you could pay for a number, but that somebody else could win. So, for example, maybe I'd like my son to win. So, 
I will put his name right here. And his phone number. Okay. Maybe this number, I would like it to go to the junior girls basketball team. And I'm going to put a number in for the coach. And I'm going to update that. So instead of me winning or me being called, if my number comes up, when I designate a winner, that means I'm paying for somebody else to win. So it's a great way to support the community and uh, support and play for other people. So I'll update designated winners. If at any time you decide not to designate those people, maybe you want to make a change and give the money to somebody else, then uh, you can uh, click on designate winner and just remove those winners. It's as easy as that. So with the online win-win, you're in control of everything. Your numbers, your profile information, your password. You can see all the transactions that you that have taken place in your account you can add money whenever you need to and we're going to set that up so that when your account gets down we will send you an email and the last thing that neat little feature where you can designate a winner to win in your place thanks for watching